Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to continue acting to strike at the military capabilities of Hamas and other Gaza groups. Hamas is regarded as a terrorist group by the United States and Israel. On Wednesday, Israeli forces killed a senior Hamas commander and bombed several buildings, including high-rises and a bank, which Israel said was linked to the faction's activities. Hamas signaled defiance with its leader, Ismail Haniyeh, saying, the confrontation with the enemy is open-ended. Israel launched its offensive after Hamas fired rockets at Jerusalem and Tel Aviv in retaliation for Israeli police clashes with Palestinians near Al-Aqsa Mosque in East Jerusalem during the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan. Turkey, whose hosting of Hamas leaders in Istanbul in recent years has contributed to a falling out with Israel, called on Muslim countries to show a united and clear stance over the Israel-Gaza violence. In the fighting inside Israel, where some in the 21% Arab minority have mounted violent pro-Palestinian protests, attacks by Jews on Arabs passing by in ethnically mixed areas have worsened. One person was in critical condition after being shot by Arabs in the Arab-Jewish town of Lod, where authorities imposed a curfew, police said. Over 150 arrests were made overnight in Lod and Arab towns in northern Israel, police said. Israeli President Reuven Rivlin called for an end to this madness. We are endangered by rockets that are being launched at our citizens and streets, and we are busying ourselves with a senseless civil war among ourselves, said the president, whose role is largely ceremonial.